How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Ink Therapy. Oh. What? <laughs> I didn't know you were recording. Dude, I've been recording this whole time. Wait, yeah. are you, is your camera recording? Over here is not in a way. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Ink Therapy Podcast here with Mr. <laughs> <laughs> now I messed it up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it one time. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Ink Therapy Podcast here with Mr. Reyes and... Resilient. This is the second episode of this podcast where we're going to be reacting to Tattoo Nightmares of the Week. We're going to be having uh, a guest joining us today as well. And the last part of this podcast, we're going to be answering emails. How do you, how'd you feel about uh, last week's uh, first episode? I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, it was very different, but Thank I... You that i thought it was going to be a lot harder mm -hmm. than what it was we also uploaded the um a little short clip on tiktok and the response on it was different you know super different <laughs> a, a lot of different opinions yes <laughs> If you guys missed last week's podcast, the video that, that we reacted to was about uh, a girl who got a tattoo done on her stomach and she has social anxiety so she couldn't speak up and tell the artist that she wasn't liking it. So she ended up getting a tattoo that she now regrets. And I have really bad allergies, um, so excuse us. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a couple. <laughs> did you take your pill this morning? I did. You did? Mm-hmm. Well... No, I just took it right now. Oh, then that's why. So let's wait till it kicks in. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to have to dust this room. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, this is the first few comments or the top comments. First one says, um, I currently have two tattoos that I absolutely hate because my anxiety wouldn't let me speak up. Now I have to get them covered up that one relatable relatable yeah uh when are people uh why are people calling why are people called this i'm gonna skip this one it's all over the place <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't make sense the way he wrote it i'm just gonna skip it if you don't like it say no you can come back another time i can't read today <laughs> i can't i can't read it you read it here you go just <laughs> okay oh damn <laughs> if you don't like it say no and you can come back another time think before you ink oh oh that sounds like a title <laughs> is that frida barking no she's eating her bone ring it's i think it's one of the uh a ghost <laughs> <laughs> one of the two and then another one says i have social anxiety but i'd still speak up this isn't a haircut tattoos are permanent true um one put well book us in so we don't have to go through this <laughs> <laughs> i was really quick when i first seen the video i was really quick to be like damn you know like it's her fault you know it's really it's really her fault like she should have just said something but i think it's really quick to say that um especially if it's not something that you struggle with um but um i kind of like remembered that i like went through something similar and i was like oh well damn mm -hmm. just like hit me in the face you know maybe you should take someone who you know doesn't have that issue so they can kind of like be your your support most of my most of the requests that we get are for cover-ups yeah so the amount of people that send an email saying, I hate my tattoo because I didn't like the execution. And when I meet that person, whoever I'm tattooing, I, I ask them for, the, for their story. You know, what happened? Like, how did you end up with this tattoo? Yeah. Every story is similar when they say, it. well, you know, it was cheap, so I got it done. Or they, they, were, they were already doing it, so I didn't want to stop. Oh. So at the end of the day, most of my clients that get tattooed by me, no matter the how um if they if they don't have anxiety or maybe they they know how to speak up at the end of the day they ended up with a bad tattoo you yeah. know just kind of do your research at the end of the day it's all research you know mm -hmm. and we are here to help you <laughs> <laughs>
as much as we can. <laughs> Hold on. My microphone keeps going down and my head is like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that means you saw my hunchback right now. <laughs> Let me adjust it. Should we jump into um, the new video, the new segment? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Oh, gosh. Let's do it. Uh, okay, so you've seen it already, right? I've seen it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta make sure they're good videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they can make the cut, you know what I mean? All right. But you haven't seen it. Mm -mm. All right. Everybody ready for the <sighs> tattoo nightmare of the week? Oh, God. No, 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 no. Go, 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 Little backstory to that. So you, ha you don't know who the Island Boys are, right? I got island boys, I got island boys. No, you haven't heard that song. It went viral on TikTok. Okay, what if I show you? Are they artists or something? Like, are they singers? Uh, they're, they are now. <laughs> it's this one here. Commercials. <laughs> Commercials. <laughs> Commercials. <laughs> Okay, so that thing went viral on TikTok. It was like millions upon millions of views. Really? Yeah, I can't believe it wasn't on your For You page. No. Crazy. Okay, uh, the video that I got tagged, uh, it's on one of them. They got a new tattoo. Here we go. You ready? Oh, no. Okay, okay we're going to watch it. When I started, uh, when I saw this tattoo, I said, Scarface for sure, but. Well, at least you know it's Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as. Wait, so he like just drew it all by hand? Freehand. With Sharpies. It, to freehand with Sharpies. You, you gotta be. You gotta be on point. <laughs> Well, uh, who do you know what artist did it? I, I clicked on that video and I was trying to look, you know, on the comments, a little bit of the just to see who did it. But he didn't tag the artist. Damn, when they don't tag the <laughs> artist, though. Oh. As soon as I clicked on it, uh, I saw the guy freehanding the whole piece on him. And I said, that's that's going to turn out so bad. I, like you can already tell when somebody has that artistic ability to freehand on skin. Yeah. And the way he was freehanding, everything looked out of proportion. The features look all over the place. And I mm -hmm. said, that's not going to look right at all. It kind of looks like a comic book. Yeah. I I don't know their financial situation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they can afford me. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Hold on. No, okay. <laughs> What are you trying to say? <laughs> okay. Because, so. Yes. <laughs> after watching their videos, I did, you know, a lot of people were saying that it's a rich. Now, I so don't know. they got money. They got money. Okay. And then they're always flexing. You know what I mean? They're always flexing money. Yeah. Um. So I wonder how this went down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm. it could be loyalty. How many, like famous people get really like yes shitty tattoos that's true i mean i don't think money has much to do because there's tons of like really talented artists out mm -hmm. there um but there's a lot of people who have money yeah i mean and they don't get like the best work if you had this on what what's your next step if i had gotten that mm -hmm. i would um Chop off my leg. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. Because right now it looks like a comic book 
Which you could continue with that. You know? <laughs> That's true. Add another character to the other side and make it look like a, a comic book scene in a way. True. You can't change it, you know, work with it. I, the thing that drags my eye to this tattoo is the bridge of the nose. The crookedness? It's right here. This just looks like a whoop. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen Scarface. So I don't really know if that's like how his nose is. It could be like that actor. <laughs> As a fan, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you uh-huh. that he doesn't have that kind of nose. Oh. <laughs> If that's what it is, you know, I would continue with that style. Yeah. And embrace it. Embrace it. Yep. Let them know this was on purpose. Yep. <laughs> you tell them. I I, did. I wanted it this way. And who, uh, who tagged you in the video? I don't know. <laughs> I just saw a few a few people tag me on it. Oh, a couple of people. A then? couple of people. David Benitez 53. He said... You need to go to Mr. Reyes for a cover-up. Hey. <laughs> nice tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the audacity, oh my God. sir. Well, that was the, the tattoo nightmare of the week. Keep tagging me on videos that you guys want us to react. And we are going to move on to the next segment. Oh, there you go. Now we can hear you. I don't know what's going on with my computer. I really don't know. It, it just keeps loading and keeps giving me the uh, that uh, ball of doom thing. So I think it's time for you to get a new computer. This is the newest one. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> this is like the newest MacBook. Damn, you got to take that one back, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. That's why I'm like really surprised and pissed right now at the same time. So next time. How you also, doing, man? congratulations on the 100K, eh? Oh, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. You're going to be there very soon. Hopefully. You know, that's the one goal. But until then, I just keep getting tattoos. That's the whole That's it. <laughs> you just, you're just getting blasted right now. I got um, I got my whole ass. So I'm going to be doing a convention in next week or this uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, I plan, we, me and Brandon plan to do my whole ass. I'm going to be bent over at like a 90. I'm going to be oh lying Oh, my ass. God. <laughs> with my ass out to everybody, with thousands of people to see what I said, bro. I'm like, you know, listen, I'm like, if you got to go there, do it. Oh, oh my God. So, so that's the one area we plan to do. And then I also plan to do the back of the head and neck as well if we have time in that. Oh, well, my so. God. And I did want to introduce you to my, to my fiance here, Hi. Resilience. <laughs> We I definitely the skipped the whole introduction. The Just that. ass out and everything already. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> He's like, you. I know why I'm here. You're gonna ask me about my butt cheeks. That. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's the one good story I can tell people. I'd be like, I'm gonna have my ass out to thousands of people. Oh Sorry. my god. So you are fully committed to just getting a full body suit. 100. percent Yeah. Like that's what. Like I always tell people. I'm like I, when I say it, I, I'm probably one of the few people that mean it because I, I feel like a lot of people will talk and say they want one but don't have the whole kind of drive to do it like i'm full out like like i'm gonna be fully covered what how would you feel if i was to get my budget tattooed i how would you feel if you were getting your budget tattooed? <laughs> well first for, for, for well i don't really got like butt cheeks so <laughs> it will, it will I, mean, pro- I don't either so <laughs> There was a video he posted on his story, and it just looks. It, I I literally thought I had an ass. I'm like, oh God, I have nothing. I'm like, if that's what people are gonna see, that I'm in trouble. <laughs> but I mean, I'm covering it up, so that's the good part now. So I'm not, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> start working out glutes real quick. Oh uh, yeah, you got. <laughs> I got a week. I got a week to do it. <laughs> Tell me about your journey. I just want to hear how you got into it. How how the idea of you getting a full body suit started. Uh. See, that's a hard question. That is. Like, at first, I knew I've always wanted tattoos. And for me, it started out as I wanted to get tattoos because I felt like they were a way to uh, keep people's eyes away from things that I didn't want them to look at. Like, I have a hearing aid. I have, I don't have really ears. Mm-hmm. And uh, so all those things, I didn't want people. I was very self-conscious on that. Yeah. So I thought, you know what? Like, getting tattoos is awesome because it takes the eye of somebody away from maybe the things that I don't want them to see and onto the tattoos and it, it worked. 
like that was like a lot of people's reaction like I felt people were no longer looking at me for my disabilities or the things that I was uh, very self-conscious about and they were now looking more at uh, the tattoos and then as the journey progressed and more and more tattoos came along I started to appreciate more just like the art of it all and um, now it's just like you know that was one day I'm like you know what I just want to be fully covered like why not why Why be a little bit why be a little bit uh, different uh, you know instead of looking like every other person just look a little different than it's kind of once you start getting something in your mind for so long, you keep telling yourself after a while, like now I'm just completely obsessed with the fact to get fully covered. You know, you kind of didn't want to look different and you took the eye out of it and now you're embracing the whole thing. Yeah, it's actually really weird now that you say because now like, <laughs> like, especially for like the, the back of the headpiece that I want. Yeah. It is, uh, it's a very striking, weird, kind of evil looking piece that oh. like many that I've told are saying definitely don't do it. So it's like, now I'm definitely drawing eyes toward this area that I once was trying to get people away from now. So so I I have accepted myself in terms of what I have now. And now I'm I'm fine with it. And now again, it's just strictly on kind of the art of it. And then also like, also having this YouTube channel, I've learned that I'm able to inspire, motivate other people to be themselves, get the tattoos that they want. So I feel like I can do two things. I can get the tattoos that I want. I can get that full done. And then also, in theory, when I'm posting these videos, you know, people can get inspired to maybe get that tattoo that is a little out there that they didn't think they wanted to get or, you know, step the boundaries of it. So that's kind of been now something that I've been really realizing and kind of pushing towards as well. When's the convention? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, they... I've never... It's funny, too, because I've never been to a convention. This is going to be your first time at a convention. My first convention, and I've never even, I've never been to one, and the first one I'm getting is I'm actually going to be in the convention, having my ass up to thousands of people. Question for you, how do you enjoy the uh, the conventions? Because I know a lot of artists will say it's good, it's a good experience, it's maybe a little bit of a stressful experience. Um, what do you find on it? I got to say that um, I, I like conventions because of the interactions. You get to meet new people, you get to interact with uh people that the artists that maybe you wanted to uh, talk to in person uh, but until last year I think it was a little bit different uh, because it was my first year after I my YouTube blew up my my Instagram I was tattooing but then I had people coming up wanting to meet me and I think that was like the dopest experience but I was not prepared because I was tattooing and I started feeling a little a little overwhelmed, overwhelmed a little overwhelmed Having people come up and wanting to talk to me, I got a little nervous and I think I got a little awkward at, at some point because uh, I think one of the most awkward moments that happened was this guy came in and he's like, yo, you're Mr. Reyes. I've been watching your YouTubes. Uh, I love your vibe, man. I, and I've always wanted to get a tattooed by you since I started watching you and, and all these compliments back to back, which I, I'm not super used to, you know, to getting compliments back to back. I ran out of I ran out of thank yous. <laughs> But the the I finished the conversation so awkward that I told that guy, yeah, man, do you want to watch me tattoo? <laughs> so he didn't know what to do. He just literally, I was like, yeah, you can come around the booth and watch me. <laughs> but he, oh, God, standing it, over the whole time. it was it was <laughs> awkward because also that guy felt awkward. Like what what's next? Yeah. <laughs> like do I watch him and then what? But he ended up leaving. But I I gotta say that uh I'm looking forward to the next convention. Uh, me uh re-experiencing that 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 event or a different event doesn't matter which one it is and you better get used to that and more because now you've gotten a lot bigger since so yeah it's been a whole year now so i uh, i think i have a different mentality now you know uh it was my first year of me dealing with that but i think now i'm gonna be more prepared and just go in ready to have fun and talk to people Saying, I wonder if you're gonna get a crowd uh, while you're getting tattooed, or if it's gonna be. That was my next question: Was it's do people like do they can they come like right up to you like right like and within like it's like I would like like four feet distance and like see you like it's yeah yeah. So you're just you're just you're just just, a piece of meat on on show. (laughs) You're a piece of meat. Exactly. <laughs> Shout out your video or your channel, your TikTok, your Instagram, anything that you want to say to, mean, to the audience. Everything is just just ink, just ink pads. And follow me if you want. It's just been a fun, follow my journey. Honestly, that's all I gotta say. If you guys like tattoos, and maybe you're not a person to get tattoos, but you want to follow my journey and kind of experience it the same way, like kind of from in the in the life of somebody else, then by all means, come follow my journey. You know, it's a fun time. 
I try to be open minded as possible, look at it from both ends, artist and customer, and like, you know, just follow me if you want. If you don't, <laughs> you know, I don't. I, I, I don't really look at the numbers anymore. It's more just I'm, I'm enjoying the process and the journey, and whatever comes from it comes from it. And whatever doesn't does it. I am passionate about tattoos. Mm-hmm. I am doing it, like doing this from like you know a good end on my heart in terms of trying to help people out, and also you know just sharing a journey and a process along the way too. So again, if you guys want to follow me, my YouTube is just Ain't my. Instagram, my TikTok is just think underscore tats, and that's it. Yes, yeah, great content. Well, thank you so much for joining us, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you for taking the time hey, to talk I, to us. I, I was really happy when you told me you wanted me to be a part of this. You know, again, like I just I love talking about tattoos, and you know, to be able to talk with you, and also now your fiance as well to have a nice face to my uh, <laughs> face. The, the name, it's it's just a fun time. So hopefully we can do this again. I would love to. Hell yeah, and and uh, hopefully we can go to Canada soon. I would love oh, that. Come to Toronto. You come to Toronto, though. We'll go out for dinner. I'll talk to Brandon. We'll go home for the whole fun thing. Good uh, luck at the convention. Uh, I hope you have a nice day, man. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you guys so much. I want to say thank you to Just Inc. for joining us on uh, this uh, podcast, sharing with us how he feels about how he started his journey of getting tattoos. You know, I think that that was really nice of him. I didn't know any of these things about him. And once he explained all of that, now I feel like I understand more of uh why he's doing this and his purpose and what drives him to get a full bodysuit which is an amazing story and an amazing journey you know yeah it was really interesting how everything kind of just went full circle Mm -hmm. and um i really i really enjoyed it yeah thank you so much we're gonna go to kanda kanda (laughs) kanda do you want to go to canada (laughs) canada yes not kanda (laughs) kanda and uh like i said if you guys want to follow his journey follow him on instagram tiktok and youtube i'm gonna put the link on his link on the description to all his socials if you guys want to uh follow him which i encourage you guys he has really really cool videos Mm -hmm. uh really interesting and he has a whole different take on tattoos and the tattoo industry so i think it's really really cool Mm -hmm. so with that being said uh we're gonna close this segment and we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna come back and answer those emails (sighs) So yeah. <laughs> so we are back and we are ready to answer those emails. Uh, I am excited to see what ideas you guys are sending me. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out what that was. Um, and yeah, so we uh, today we're going to be choosing the next two clients. Before we, we answer those emails, I do want to uh, say that uh, if you get accepted, uh, I'm going to be super excited to tattoo you. And I'm, I cannot wait to get your tattoo done. And if you get declined, I am so sorry. It's um, um, I'm sorry you were not chosen. It could be the concept was not right. Maybe I am not excited about the concept. It could be maybe the cover up is too complicated, and maybe it is not my style. Um, it could be one of those factors, you know. And I just want you guys to. I hope you guys understand that. And if I do choose you, best believe I'm gonna give you 110 percent, and I I'm gonna be excited to tattoo you. So. Uh, we're gonna jump into those emails Ooh, and see what you guys send. All right, next one. This one is a cover up, uh, true gray, hint of color. It says, Hey, brother, I really need a cover up bad. I'm 23, got a sleeve done at 18, 20, while I was in the party scene heavily and then getting sober, and I absolutely hate everything about the sleeve. I feel embarrassed just going out, and it's ruining my early 20s. I really need you to bless me. I am more than willing to fly in from Canada hey, and bang <laughs> out a two to three day session with you. Have a few ideas based off your your work and I'm pretty open to any of your ideas and y- anything that you think would cover this up. So let me show you what picture it is or what he wants covered up. It is a bit dark. It is definitely a bit dark. Um... As much as I want to, I'm going to decline. Okay. I'm going to decline because the the concept is whoever did it, the line work is solid in there. 
and I know those lines is gonna be problem a problem to cover up and there's a lot of darkness going around so if you're watching this um, I would suggest uh, two to three sessions of laser next one is a cover-up as well um, she heard about you on TikTok. nice um the cover-up image all right it says i would like to get a whole sleeve looking for a dark plague theme girl with the gas mask and the plague doctor mask the rest i leave it up to you you can tell he's excited oh what wow down yeah yeah we got our client ding 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 ding, ding, ding. it says i have a phoenix on my leg honestly willing to cover up with any greek work you'd like it goes all the way up to my thigh i'm just more worried about the lower part of it it's colored in pretty heavily i want my whole right leg covered up that is huge it almost looks like a feather going down his mm -hmm. shin oh man um i'm gonna decline so i would say laser is your best choice at this point because bread is super hard to cover up and it's gonna show through next email it is a cover-up <laughs> uh heard about you on instagram and tiktok it says i have two skulls on my right forearm i want covered up one in the front forearm and one skull is in the back forearm i essentially want this to be a half sleeve cover-up I'm really interested in your cultural work, but also am open to some of the serialism work you do. Ooh. Honestly, I just want something that looks badass and flows with the whole form, not two standalone pieces. Oh, he wants something to just attach. Mm -hmm. I'm going to decline. Um, he has a lot of tattoos all over the place and whatever I put on the form is going to seem like a whole different project. So you're going to have a lot of random it's not gonna look connected to your sleeve. It's gonna seem different styles across the whole the whole sleeve. Okay. All right. This one is a cover up. <laughs> Looking for a Greek god inspired sleeve. Been a fan of your work for a while. I marked this that it's a cover up. I have a four by half inch Roman. Uh, I'm gonna decline. Uh, the concept of Greek mythology they look amazing, but at the moment it is highly requested as you guys can see it's it we already gone through a few emails and it's everything's the same concepts and at the moment i i am not super pumped to tattoo rig mythology just because i've done it so much all right this next one it is not a cover-up it is um right arm full sleeve greek mythology oh i'm sorry i'm gonna <laughs> decline <laughs> Appreciate you. You can find a lot of artists out there that would execute great mythology. Amazing, you know. So definitely uh, choose someone that's going to be as excited as you to tattoo great mythology. All right. Next is a cover up. It is says it says, "Good afternoon, Mr. Reyes. I'd like to cover up, uh, cover all my form, or at least if we can go, if we can cover the portrait that I have." Let me know if it can be done. I like something about the universe or whatever you think fits. I'm going to get married and I'd love to have it covered for the pictures. Laugh out loud. Thank you and have a great day. All right. So it's saying um, cover all my forearm, which is a tiger and a portrait. Hmm. I'll accept. <gasps> I'll take it. Ding, 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 I will ding. take it. Oh, that was intense. We got our two. Yes, we got our two uh, clients selected. And yeah, uh, for everyone who got declined, I appreciate um, I appreciate everyone for sending in the request and being interested in my work. I, I, I appreciate that a lot. I am going to announce next week's uh, guest. Oh, I don't even know who it is. Yeah. So um, let me pull him up. His name is John Nelson. The, right now, he does amazing tattoos uh very unique here what i'll show you what pieces does he do right. is this the let me see there you go wow that's that is amazing nice. work amazing work <gasps> oh i really like it mm -hmm. and the reason why he is getting known right now where he's getting very popular is for his uh iconic funny videos that he posts on tiktok and, and instagram basically he 
Oh, he's the guy you showed me about. Like, he shows what artists are really thinking. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, his videos are really funny. They're hilarious. They're so relatable because even though they're it's comedy, at the same time, at some point in our careers, we've been through that situation. So what he's doing, he's just, he's just saying it out loud what every artist is thinking. Uh, but it's not it's not meant to make tattoo artists look bad. It's just the comedy side of it, and I and I love what he's doing because a lot of artists can relate. Oh, how cool! I'm excited. I am excited. So, uh, with that being said, we are now gonna um, finish this uh, uh, this podcast, this episode, <laughs> this whatever it is, this whatever <laughs> this whatever it is. Um, this concludes uh, today's therapy ink podcast. Ink therapy. Ink therapy? That's what I said. What, what did I say? You said therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even get the name right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm